What do discharge lamps, flame tests, neon lights, and fireworks have in common? All of these involve the emission of photons. In a previous experiment, you learned how the emission of photons gave insight into the electronic structure of hydrogen. In our model, electrons move from a lower to a higher energy level when the atom absorbs energy. And when the electron returns to a lower energy level, photons are emitted. The energy that moves the electron to a higher energy state may be radiant, light, electrical, or thermal, heat. The purpose of this investigation is to examine the emission of light following radiant, electrical, or thermal excitation. A computer simulation will be used to illustrate different discharge lamps, and a flame test experiment will be used to investigate different metal salt solutions and the colors that they emit when placed in a hot flame. This lab connects to your lecture in many different ways. Topics such as electron configuration, quantum numbers, ionization energy, effective nuclear charge, and energy are all touched upon. The computer simulation, shown here, depicts a discharge lamp. You use both hydrogen and helium discharge lamps in lab, but how did they work? Initially, electrons are generated at the hot coil on the left, and an applied voltage accelerates them from plate to plate. In the one atom tab, a single atom is placed between the plates. In the simulation, it is possible to change the atom. It is also possible to see the electronic energy levels for a particular atom. You can also configure an atom with different energy levels for testing. It is possible to move the atom, you may also fire one or many electrons across the screen. Emitted photons are recorded on the spectrometer. And the second tab allows you to test multiple atoms at one time. You should now have enough information to be able to get started on your investigation with the simulation. To get started, pre-soak some wooden splints in distilled water. They will be inserted into the flame during testing. To avoid contamination of your test solutions, use a different splint for each metal salt solution. Prepare test solutions for the different metal salts. This task may be done with your classmates. Everyone does not need their own salt solution. Simply add a small amount, about a half a gram, of the solid to about 10 or 20 mils of distilled water. The concentration of the solution does not need to be calculated. Light the Bunsen burner and adjust the flame to produce an inner cone flame, as shown in this figure. Then dip a splint into a test solution and place it near the inner cone of the flame. You may need to repeat a flame test several times in different regions of the flame. Record your observations in your notebook. Goggles must be worn throughout the flame test experiment. Use caution with the burner and ask for assistance if needed. Metal salts are inorganic waste. Do not wash them down the sink. Keys to doing well in this lab? Flame tests are fun and fast. Be willing to retest samples as needed. You may be asked to do the flame test experiment before the computer simulation. If so, you may find it easiest to make your observations 
and then return to answer the questions after having worked on the simulation. Many of the questions in the handout are identical to exam questions. Discussing questions with classmates and checking your answers with the TA are great ideas. Finally, remember to show your completed handout to your teaching assistant before leaving lab for credit.